Here's what the uh, NOAA folks are kind of giving us as an early indicator of what could happen about seven days from now. It kind of puts us in that somewhere between 10 and 30 percent chance that we could see winter weather. What does that mean? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But Frank, it strikes me that the chance of seeing winter weather is, as of now, subject to change, slightly higher to the south than to the north. Mm, yes, it is. And it's because the, the storm track looks like it's going to be fairly far to the south. Uh, this is... Not to say that uh, we have the greatest handle, e either the folks at WPC or anybody else for that matter have the best handle because our uh, model guidance is not. One thing we know for sure is it's going to get really cold. Ooh. Here's a look at the coldest nighttime temperatures. Oh, I got, got 20s. Let's see, where is our lowest low? I think it's going to be, here's a 17 Ooh. in Charlotte. 14 in Hickory, 3 in Boone, <laughs> Wow. Uh, Raleigh, 15, uh, Hatteras, 25, uh, Wilmington, 20, and not to be uh, outdone, Cherokee at 6, and that is valid for Tuesday. Those are the low temperatures on Tuesday. 20s, 20s and 30s, 20s and 30s. Ooh, a little 40s, guys. That's going to be like tropical. These are yeah, nighttime the lows. We're going to get a, a relatively warm spell for maybe 24 hours. Yeah, so, so here warm. is uh, here's Monday night, Tuesday morning. Wow. The, we got uh, upper teens, I-85 corridor, maybe into Rock Hill, yeah. 20s and, there And that's Columbia. only the first taste of it. I mean, it looks like all next week and next weekend is going to be real cold. So Yeah, because it sticks around that, for a couple of days, right? Like, yeah, well, this that is may only, not this be the Tuesday. coldest weather we get. Um, well, and, we'll and be back next Wednesday. It depends on what happens with the winter storm and, and how big it is and how serious it is. Right, well, it, snowpack will have a big impact on that if snowpack actually precisely. is there. Precisely, if we end up getting a big snowstorm, snow is very effective at radiating heat out into space. So if you have deep snow cover and a clear, calm night, it's going to get really, really cold.